Hello, it's Jim Wood with your 90 seconds of wisdom. So the era of low interest rates is over. Now, we might not have a long era of higher interest rates. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but they don't like the, look like they're coming down anytime soon. So what does that mean for you? Well, on the savings side of the money in the bank, move your money to a higher interest account. Why in the world do you have money in a savings account that's paying you less than 1% a year when you can get a money market account FDIC insured at a bank, either in brick and mortar bank or online bank for over four, four and a half percent. That's on $10,000. That's $300 a year. Not a lot of money, but why in the world would you not, would you pass up on that money? All right. On the flip side, when you're talking about borrowing money, the era of ridiculously low interest rates is over. You will not be able to get a mortgage anytime soon in my prediction for the two and a half or 3% that people were getting like a year and a half ago, right? So it's not gonna happen. But here's what you do. If you're going to buy a house, you might have to settle for something that's a little bit less costly because the interest is gonna cost you more. But you can always later on refinance if interest rates go down. Get a 30 year fixed rate and finance down, or you can do an arm or something like that. The point is, is that you're just gonna have to plan for it. Stop waiting for rates to go lower. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. Just forget about it. That is my 90 seconds. Have a great day. Bye.